Hello and welcome to how to make a sticker on Canva. So today what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to make a custom shaped sticker. Uh, it's super simple, especially a little rock because we will uh, we'll build a cut path for you as long as you build a sticker file that's the right proportion. So let's say today you want to make a uh, three inch by four inch snake sticker. Uh, we would go into Canva. We'd go create new design. First thing you want to do is you want to hit custom size. And uh, when you open a Canva new design, it's going to default to pixels. Um, but of course, you're going to be printing in inches as the measurement. Uh, so make sure you switch the unit of measurement to inches. Uh, and we said we wanted to make a three inch by four inch snake sticker. So we create new design. What happens there when you set it up that way is you're going to be left with a three by four inch uh, area or rectangle. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to be able to bring in an element here. So I've, I've found a snake. Again, you can do this by just typing in snake uh, in Canva. And then what you can do is you can basically fill up this area uh, with your your graphic. And when you get it uh, printed at Little Rock, we, we will do all the cutting so that the cut path goes around. I don't know if you can see my mouse here. It goes around the border of the snake. So we'll make the intuitive cut path for you. Now here you can tell that you're not filling up the three and a half three by four inch area very good. So one good trick here with your element in Canva is you can, as you drag it, it'll give you the measurement of the aspect ratio. So let's say we for sure want it four inches tall. Uh, down in the corner there, you see if we do 3.6 by 3.9. So let's make this a three and a half by four inch sticker. So all you're gonna do with Canva Pro, you can hit resize and you're going to change this to 3.5 by 4, resize, and now our snake, pretty good. So now we have a snake that fills up the whole area, and what we could do now is we would simply, uh, it's always best to name these files, so snake, I like to put the size in the names, 3.5 by 4, download the PDF print file, switch to CMYK, which is always best for printing, hit download, and uh, what we're going to have here is we're going to have a snake PDF that looks like this. This is what we can use for uh, printing. And like I said earlier, the cut path, we will intuitively do it around the border of the snake. In this scenario, you would get a white border as well. Um, and then what you do is you'd simply go to our stickers page online, roll labels, custom die cut stickers. And you put in the general area, so you put three and a half by four. Permanent vinyl is usually the option, matte or gloss. Die cut stickers, of course, is uh, uh, an individual, let's see here, those are photos. If you want an individual shape cut sticker like that guy, uh, that's a die cut sticker. So again, we go 3.5 by four, permanent vinyl, gloss finish, die cut. Uh, and if you want a custom shape, all you have to do is select custom shape here in the list. And you're good to go. Let's say you want to do 25 of those. Add it to the cart. And when you get it, when you get it to the cart, all you got to do is bring in that PDF uh, that we had downloaded. I had another one here from a sample. I'm just clearing that out of the cart. So you can either drag and drop or you can click right here. That's why I always name it because uh, we want the three and a half by four inch snake file. We bring that in. We're good to go and we can check out online. Now let's say you wanted to do a sticker, a circle sticker. Uh, if you're doing a common shape like a circle, we do have some templates online. So under our uh, Canva templates, you can go to uh, the labels and stickers section and you'll see we have a circle set up. So in this scenario, uh, I click circle sticker and we've built kind of a, a pre-done uh, generic template. Uh, let's say you wanna make sure that this is a uh, three and a half by three and a half inch sticker. Uh, you, again, you want to switch it to the unit of measurement that you're going to be ordering with. So you switch it to inches. Circles are kind of uh, easy because their aspect ratio is the same. But 3.5 by 3.5, resize. And then uh, Canva is great if you haven't used it before. Super intuitive to use. So let's say we want to take uh, this thank you out. Or let's say we want to change our whole design. Uh, well, you just hit one of these templates. Um, and you can find something you like. 
Uh, let's say only good vibes. You don't like that happy face. You can delete out what you got. Let's say we want to bring our super cool snake back in here. And we can do that snake. Now, a good trip here if you wanted to make sure it's centered. Uh, as you drag it along, it will uh, show you these purple grid lines that center it. Or um, you can just make sure you select the right icon, click position. You can click center and middle, and it'll drop it right in the right spot for you. So that's a good way to make sure you have everything aligned. Um, and again, if you want to change the colors, you can do that like that. Uh, some of these elements, you can actually change the, uh, the color of the uh, icon. It's really, uh, really easy software to use. If you haven't used it before, I highly recommend it. And we're good to go. So now we can download our, again, let's name this circle snake sticker. Uh, share. I'll have the PDF print file, CMYK. And we're good to go here. And then this is how you, what you would use for a circle, circle snake sticker. Always good to name your files. Boom. Now you got a really professionally designed circle sticker and that is how you do it folks and you're good to go thank you for watching if you have any questions feel free to reach out to us and uh thank you